You are my Blanche. Blanche. Mm. Jay. You are my Dorothy. Mm, because you're a little gay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're Betty White. Oh, what a f question. Of course I'm Betty White. Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show for all things comic book inspired or Amazon Prime video. I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Today we are highlighting the boys character Frenchie, an extremely passionate member of the boys team. First we'll dive into his comic history, then get into the Frenchie we've gotten to know in the last three seasons of the Amazon Prime Video TV series series adaption of The Boys. So starting things off with Frenchie's comic history, Frenchie made his comic debut in The Boys number two. His killer instincts and anger worked well as a member of a team led by Billy Butcher, who is this mysterious baguette building man who is the only one who can communicate with the only woman on the team. Not much of Frenchie's past is given in the comic series, but he does get an issue dedicated to exploring how he found himself on the path that led him back to Billy Butcher. In The Boys number 37, we learn the Frenchman was born in a small village where he developed his unique dialect of French. He fell in love with a young woman named Marie, whom he promised never to leave again after returning from war. In a tale as old as time, upon Frenchie's return from war, he finds out his beloved Marie did not wait for him and instead she moved on with a man who was his number one nemesis named Black Pierre. To his parents' dismay, Frenchie began to fall into a depression. Uh, the last straw for Frenchie occurs when his father is killed during an event in his hometown that involves jousting with baguettes and bikes. Frenchie's dad took on Black Pierre and was killed after getting flung off his bike thanks to Black Pierre jamming something into the spokes of his wheels. Shortly after, Frenchie decides to let the urge to fight, mull, and murder overtake him. He gets his revenge on Black Pierre, tells Marie to go to hell, and leaves his village. Frenchie spends his time getting drunk in bars itching for a fight. It's in the bar where Frenchie and Billy Butcher reunited. They had crossed paths before when Frenchie was part of the French military. Frenchie agreed to join the anti-superhero squad known as the Boys. Frenchie joins and as mentioned earlier, Frenchie is the only member of the Boys to have any kind of effective communication with the female or who we know now as Kamiko in the TV series adaption. Unlike Huey, Frenchie willingly takes Compound V, which gives him super strength, smell, and durability. Frenchie is as loyal as they come and usually doesn't act with aggression until provoked. But once he's provoked, he is really hard to stop. You know how Mystical said that he could fight the bear? Well, Frenchie probably really could take on that bear when he is pissed off. Now moving on to the Frenchie that we've gotten to know in the Amazon Prime video TV series adaption. The Frenchie of the Boys adaption isn't a stark departure from his comic book iteration, but there is nuanced layers added to his character that gives his tragic history more texture, which in turn makes him an unforgettable character. Frenchie, real name Sergei, was born in France. His relationship with his parents, especially his father, is much different from the comics. Frenchie grew up in a traumatic environment due to his father being bipolar. His father tried to kill him once with a Hello Kitty blanket when he was only 10 years old. Later, his own father kidnaps him to keep him away from his mother. Later in life, Frenchie escapes and moves to New York where he lives in a homeless shelter and finds comfort watching the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls piece is a nice touch of Frenchie's character. It makes sense for him since he is a quiet, unassuming mellowness that can go to overly energetic ferocity at a flip of a switch. Frenchie was brought into custody after a bank heist which put him on the radar or CIA officer Grace Mallory. She offers him a chance to work for her due to his affinity for chemistry and engineering which allows him to create gadgets but because Frenchie is a loyal friend through and through he originally turns down that offer. When Frenchie got to America he ended up developing a really tight friendship with two people named Sherry and Jay. He didn't want to abandon them so he originally told Mallory no but he only agreed to become a member of the boys after those friends and partners in crime, Sherry and Jay were threatened with jail time. So not only is he a loyal friend, but he's also one who was down for the cause. He didn't want to see them in jail. Speaking of loyalty to his friends, Frenchie actually left his post to save Jay who had overdosed, which is actually what resulted in the death of Mallory's grandchildren. 
and we see Frenchie battle with this guilt over what happened throughout the TV series. It's also a point of contention between him and the other members of the boys. The boys TV series also gives us more of Frenchie and Kamiko known as only the female in the comics. Frenchie again is the only member of the boys who actually tries to bond with Kamiko. Uh, he's the one to convince MM to bring in Mesmer to learn more about Kamiko, which is how they learned she was created to be a soup terrorist. This revelation is what cracks open the floodgates to unravel how Vod had been creating superheroes up until that point. As the series continues, Frenchie and Kamiko's relationship develops into something quite unique. Frenchie is there for her and she in turn is there for him. Frenchie is the first to notice Kimiko wanting vengeance against Stormfront in season two, and he prevents her from attacking Stormfront at a rally. A move he makes to protect Kimiko ultimately leads to the two of them having a fallen out, but they eventually reconcile with one another. Also, she does get a chance to beat the crap out of Stormfront at the end of season two, so all was good. Season three is where the relationship truly reveals itself to be exactly what it is, and that's a platonic one. They're the only family each other has, and they do whatever they can to protect that. Frenchie is there to care for Kimiko when she is severely injured by a soldier boy, and Kimiko is there to save Frenchie in the finale. They're true ride or dies for one another, a relationship we do get hints of in the comics, but it's nice to see it play out in the TV show. It could have turned into a romantic relationship, but it works really well and is quite strong for both characters for them to be in a platonic relationship. It's refreshing to be quite honest. And this concludes this deep dive character session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. Remember, you can check out all three seasons of The Boys right now on Amazon Prime Video. Mm -hmm.